Hey, Dr. Simple Popper, what's up? Thanks for stopping by. Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. Hey, how's it going, everybody? It's yours truly, the Trick or Trey here from the Good Old Killer Instinct Squad. Today we're playing some more of that Resident Evil. Oh, I was just playing that earlier. <laughs> the Walking Dead, season one. So sit back, relax, enjoy the show. Let's do this. Okay, shout out to screw up this time. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, I should have done that. I hit the wrong button. It's just a sign. I screwed up already. Let's get out of here. What the hell? It must have been one of those old nuclear fallout shelters. Give me one second. Okay. Let's take a look at what we have here. Someone's living out here. Look at all this. It's enough to keep people alive for months. Uh oh. Who are you? Hey Jack Man two thousand, how's it going? Thanks for right. stopping by. How's your day it's going? Okay. I, I don't want any trouble. Neither do we. Which is why you'd do well to turn around and leave right now. Look, I'm sorry I disturbed you folks. I'll just be going. You can't let him leave. He's from Crawford. If he goes back there and they find out we're down here. Are you from Crawford? They don't lie to me. I'll know. Where else can he be from? Everywhere else around here is dead. I think you better start talking. I'm not from around here. I'm from Athens. Grew up in Macon. I have a brother in Macon. You were there? How was it? As bad as here? I'm sorry. You can't trust him, Vernon. You can't let him leave. What do you want me to do? Shoot him in the head? Why not? Be more well, don't shoot me in the head. Crawford ever showed us. Think, Vernon. What do you think they'll do if they find out we're down here, right under their feet? Damn it. You're right. I'm, I'm gonna say I'm not from Crawford. I'm not gonna threaten them. That's gonna get me I'm shot. Crawford, but I saw what they did up there. It made me sick. I'm not like them, and I don't think you are either. I think you're a good man. Keep back, or I swear I'll shoot. I told you he's lying. He is one of them. Kill no, him no. He kills us. Well, that didn't work out too good. Guess I'll just bum rush it next time. Hey, delinquent. Hey, how's it going? Thanks for st the tab up. Give you a quick shout out in a second. It's all right. It's okay. I, I don't want any trouble. Neither do we. Which is why you'd do well to turn around and leave right now. Look, I'm sorry I disturbed you folks. I'll just be going. You can't let him leave. He's from Crawford. If he goes back there and they find out we're down here, 
Are you from Crawford? Yeah, Dr. Like Simple you? Popper, RIP. Where else can he be from? Everywhere else around here is dead. I'm not from around here. I'm from Athens. Grew up in Macon. I have a brother in Macon. You were there? How was it? As bad as here? I'm sorry. You can't trust him, Vernon. You can't let him leave. What do you want me to do? Shoot him in the head? Why not? Be more of a mercy than anyone from Crawford ever showed us. Think, Vernon. What do you think they'll do if they find out we're down here, right under their feet? Damn it. You're right. I'm sorry, friend. I'm saying, let's talk about this. Look, you don't want to do this. Let's talk, okay? What's to talk about? You won't even tell us who you are. My name is Lee. I'm a history professor. And I don't want to die today. And I don't think you want to kill me either. Don't. Don't come any closer, or I'll shoot. Come on. Let's just talk about this. Vernon, what are you doing? Shoot him! Nobody needs to get shot. Just take it easy. Hey, three drinks in. Appreciate that. It's all right. It's okay. Vernon, what the hell are you doing? Vernon! Relax. I'm not here to hurt you. I'll give you a quick shout out. You're really not from Crawford? No. I'm really not. Well, uh, we are. Or were. We got out of there when they started sealing up the place, you know, started weeding out the sick and the old so their perfect survival That's a nice society clue. wouldn't be threatened. No room for weakness or vulnerability in their little master race. You don't look that old, so you're sick? We're sick. We're all members of a cancer survivors group that used to meet here at the hospital. We're in remission. But that wasn't good enough for Crawford. They'd already rounded up five of us before the rest of us managed to hole up and hide from them down here. This old basement's been abandoned for years. What is this? The morgue? Yeah. Irony's always high on my list when I'm looking for a place to survive. How did you find your way down here? Walkers. A few of us got boxed in by walkers up on the street. Came down here trying to get away. Now I just want to get out of here and get back to my own people. Well, that sewer system you came through runs all over the city. It'll take you wherever you want to go. Looks like you show me the way back. Those well, sewers are like a damn maze. Any chance you could help me find my way back? Look, I'd like to help you, but we've all got our own problems. Two of our group are sick and need constant care, and I'm the only doctor here. Besides, why should we help you? Look, I'm sorry if I I'm gonna go with that you. option. I just want to get back to my people. Back to Clementine. She's your daughter? I'm gonna say yes. Yeah. She's probably already wondering where I am. Well, we can't have that, can we? Vern, what the hell are you doing? It's all right, Bree. I had a daughter, too. Lost her in the first days. I'll be damned if I'll just sit back and let that happen to someone else. We need you here. Don't worry. I'll be back before you know it. Let's go see about your daughter. This is like the awkward moment. Clementine? Clem? Okay, so I could get a new group. Molly? Oh, hey, you made it back. Who's this? He didn't tell you about me? Understandable, I guess. I'm the one who put that beating on him when he tried to jump me back at the river. Who's the fossil? He's a doctor. This is Vernon. He's a doctor. He helped me get back here after we got separated. I think you have something that belongs to me. Well, he wants she wants her uh, ice pick back. Lee, thank God you're back. Krista, what's wrong? It's Omid. He's gotten worse. Much worse. 
We might have to put him down. We have a man wounded. Who's this? This is Vernon. He's a doctor. Oh, thank God. Could you take a look at him? You have to help us. Please. I'll see what I can do. Take me to him. Well, let's go check on Omid. Omid, honey, you're gonna be all right. Lee brought a doctor. All right, let's take a look at him. I work better without an audience. Now, why don't you go find your little girl? Good idea. Clementine. Clementine? Clementine, you hear? <coughs> oh, excuse me. Clem? Is she in here? Ain't got time for that. Let's try this door. Hello? What are you doing? Oh, uh, you know, just poking around. You won't find anything. We already searched the place. You'd be surprised what people miss. Trust me, I've been doing this for a while. Where's Clementine? Don't ask me, I'm not her keeper. Hey, do I oh, that's rude. Like I'm in the mood to be jerked around? I'm in the mood to be jerked around. Last I saw, she was downstairs with your redneck friend and that college kid who hangs around with him. Why don't you go bug them? Good idea. So we're heading downstairs. Clem? Clementine? Doesn't look like I can get that way. Well, there we go. Clementine! Come out! Please! Kenny? Oh, hey, you made it back. Good job. Good job. What you don't look that concerned to seeing me. What does it look like? Where'd you get the bottle? Found it. First good thing that's happened since... Kenny, come on. Give me that. Kenny, give me the oh, damn Oh, man. Get so the gonna fight. away from me. Getting wasted's not gonna help anyone. Yeah? Well, what is? We are fucked. Molly said there's not a single boat left in Savannah. No way out. We got walkers all around us. That crazy fuck on the radio messing with us. Hell, if now ain't the time for a drink? Seriously? Yeah, I would rather get drunk. Clementine, where are you? Doesn't look like she's in here. Now I gotta find this little girl. Doesn't look like she's in here. Have either of you seen Clementine? Damned if I know. Gotta be around here somewhere. <laughs> yeah, you know, for real. Clementine sneak out of the house? Hey, don't put all that on me. Omid took a turn for the worse, and Krista asked me to help. I'm sorry, I'm doing the best I can here. She was frantic and things got kind of crazy. I'm gonna go with I A. I told Clementine to stay put. What else could I do? Don't be sorry. Just tell me where the hell she is now. I think she went out to play in the backyard. On her own. With no one watching her? Wow. Will you get off my back? She's fine out there. She better be or it's your ass. I swear, first chance I get, Ben's gotta go. Clementine? Clementine! Door 
was covered in mud. Don't think anyone came in through there. Yeah, for, I don't think anybody came through there. Hey, how's it going? Thanks for stopping by. My fellow Thanos. We do a quick shout out. How's your day going? told you about wandering off on your own i know i know stay close to you but you weren't here well you've been wanting to stream again we that's what's up found. well i'll be this was here the whole time I know, right? I guess Kenny ain't being an asshole no more. He didn't drink all the liquor. This dude's got suspicious written all over him. I'm gonna say, how's Omid doing? Omid's doing okay? As well as can be expected under the circumstances. I did what I could for him. Cleaned out the wound, but he's got a real infection. Running a fever. Without antibiotics, I... Will you quit pacing? You're making everyone nervous. Why are you even still here? Hey, if your friend really can get that boat working, you're taking me with you as payment for saving your asses. I figure that's fair enough, don't you? Well? You want the good news or the bad news? Uh, let's go with the bad news. Let's get the bad news out of the way first. Bad news is, she's not taking us anywhere the shape she's in right now. Gas tank's empty and the battery's dead. So what's the good news? That's it. That's all she needs. Some gas and... Well, you haven't streamed in the wall. Other than that, she's good to go. Well, how are we supposed to get that stuff? What about... Let's just search let's the streets. on the street. See what we can find. That's not gonna work. Crawford took everything and brought it inside their walls. They siphoned every gas tank, stripped every battery. There's nothing left out there. You saw that for yourselves. She's right. Well, what about this Crawford place? Sounds like they'd have everything we need. Maybe we should try there. Now hold on a minute. Surely we have to try? If there are people left in this city who are still alive, who still have supplies, what harm can it do to ask? Trust me, you don't know these people. I do. You showing up with a wounded man? Might as well put a noose around his neck. They don't exactly welcome children with open arms either. What the hell kind of a place are we talking about here? The worst kind? A messed up place? I don't see what other choice we have. And just how exactly do you figure we do this? Because from what I've heard, that place ain't exactly friendly to outsiders. We'll say we there sneak in. Some way we can sneak in there undetected. There might actually be a way. I know the sewer system that runs beneath Crawford like the back of my hand. Y'all wouldn't happen to have a map by any chance. Yeah, actually. I think I could lead us through so we could pass under the perimeter and right into the center where they keep their supplies. 
We come up right underneath them, take them by surprise, grab what we need, and get out before they even knew what hit them. Sounds like a good plan. Actually, not the worst idea I've ever heard. I mean, it's close, but I don't know. Maybe it could work. I've thought about it before, just never had the people to do it. But I think if we all work together, we could pull it off. And what do you want in return for all this help you're giving us? Crawford doesn't just have what you need for your boat. They're also well stocked with medical supplies. Medicine that my people could use, just as yours could. We can do this. We have to. So, it's decided then? Is so everyone okay with this? Anyone else have a problem with this plan? Because we're gonna need every one of us to pull this off. Man, I don't know. I don't know about you, kid, but I'd rather take a chance on doing something than just sitting around here waiting to die. That boat out there is an answered prayer. Just gotta push a little bit farther. Are you in or out? I don't trust Ben. We should go tonight, under cover of dark. I'll go let my people know. Give you all a chance to prepare. I'll be back before midnight. Be careful. That's how I'm still alive. I told you to stay in your room. How long have you been there? Is it going to be dangerous? Is what going to be dangerous? Crawford. I'm going to say no, don't worry. Don't worry. We have a good plan and good people. We'll be in and out before they even know we're there. You trust me, don't you? Yeah. That's my girl. I guess I should go get ready. Oh, uh, say what now? You said you'd need all of us to do this. And you said I'm a big help, remember? Oh, no, 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 no. You stay in here. Molly said Crawford is the only place left in Savannah that still has people. That means it must be where my mom and dad are, right? It might be safer here with Omid. Clementine, I think it'd be safer for you to stay here with Omid. But what if something happens to him while you're gone? Oh, I didn't think about that. He's sick. If he doesn't get better and, you know, he might try to hurt me. I forgot he might turn into a zombie. Can't I come with you? I'm a, I might as well bring her okay. with me. You can come, but you have to promise to stay quiet and do exactly what you're told the whole time we're there. Okay, I'm gonna go get ready. And it's at night. What can possibly go wrong? Check out what I found in the garage. Hatchet, hacksaw, some other tools. Might come in handy on this little break-in. Nice. Nice. Can I talk That's what I said. What's up? I took another look at the boat. Yeah. <laughs> footer. So? For real, so it did cost everything. Problem. Boat that size ain't gonna hold more than five people, even with one of them a kid. Me, you, Clem, Krista, Omi, Ben, Father. Assuming everyone makes it back alive, that's still one too many. Even if we cut Molly loose. Before this is over, we're gonna have to make a decision. You're not serious. Look, I'm just saying. If we want the best chance of... Of course he brought this bitch. What the hell is this? This is Bree. She can help us. Let us say how. Help us how. I was a student at the school where Crawford keeps their supplies. I know the layout. With her help, we're in and out faster. Anyone have a problem with that? I guess not. Then what are we waiting for? Let's get moving. Hold up just a sec. You ready? Ready. Hey, whoa, hold on a minute. You're not taking her with us. Did you not hear anything I said about the kind of place Crawford is? I'm gonna say... If you take her in there and they find Option A. Her. I'm not leaving her alone in the house with only Omi to protect her. It's just not happening. For what it's worth, I don't think it's a great idea either. She's coming. Deal with it. You heard the man. Let's move out. Oh yeah, let's move out. 
Yeah, I'll take that from him. Then the type of dude to go paranoid and kill everybody on accident. This should be it. We're right underneath the center of Crawford. The old school should be directly above us. Okay, people. This is it. Remember the plan. We stay quiet, we stay hidden, and we stay together. We find what we need, and we get the hell out before anyone even knows we're there. Got it? And that part about staying close, that goes double for you. Yeah, it does. All right, peek out. Let's go. Where is everybody? There should be guards patrolling. What? Are you disappointed? It's just strange, is all. I think I see one. Over there. I have a feeling this dude's setting us up. Okay. Me and Kenny will sneak up, trying to take him out quiet. The rest of you wait for our signal, then follow us over. Everybody got it? Okay, Kenny, let's do this quiet. No shooting unless there's no other choice. Right behind you. And we're just gonna sneak up on them. What the fuck? Oh no. Inside here. Get inside fast. Uh oh. That's not good. Say no idea. Your guess is as good as mine. What the hell happened here? I thought this place was supposed to be secure. What always happens, I guess. In the end, the dead always win. Oh man, we are so screwed. No, this is good. Let me say, how is this what? good? How the fuck is this good? Before, everyone at Crawford was smart and they had guns. Now they're dumb and they don't. Hey, trying to look on the bright side here. I agree. So long as we don't let them box us in, we can still do this. The plan hasn't changed. The plan hasn't changed? Every time walkers show up, the plan changes. Do you even have any idea how many of them are out there? No. You want to do a head count? Or do you want to get what we need and get the hell out of here? I'll go with that option right there. Come on. I think I know which way to head. I got a bad feeling about this. I've been had a bad feeling. We're not going to mess with that door. Just keep moving. Here. Looks okay. Everybody in. I am inevitable. Figures. Looks 
Looks like they were using this room as some kind of command center. Okay, so now what? Where do we start looking? <laughs> Thank you, daughter. Here. I'm surprised TikTok put my last one back up. They took it down, I just appealed it and went right back up. I'm gonna say battery. Any idea where we could find a battery? Maybe at the auto shop. There used to be one in the alley outside the fire escape. Yep, it's called Herman's. You can't miss it. Fuel. Where can we find some fuel for the boat? There's a maintenance shed across from the playground here. If they were storing fuel, that's probably where it'll be. What about the medicine? Right here. Nurse's station. They were using it as a medical facility. How do you know that? Just makes sense, doesn't it? Okay, I'll make the run to the maintenance shed for the fuel. It'll be faster if I go with you. I can take you right to it. I'll come too. No, two people. We haven't had nothing taken down yet. See if you can use any of those. Well, yeah, one taken down this morning. Door open. We might need to shoot our way out of here. I'll go for the medicine. I'll come with you. I know what to take. Okay. Guess that leaves me to go find us a battery. I'll go with you. Watch your back. Okay, we've got a plan. Everyone be careful. Stay close to one another. We'll all meet back here. Good luck. Let me post one about Mills. <laughs> I'm about to check that one out. What about me? What can I do? I need you to stay here with Finn and watch over our command center. I'm putting you in charge of it, okay? You're leaving me with Ben? I'm not leaving you with Ben. I'm leaving him with you. Understand? Oh, okay. Back before you know it. You okay, Clem? Yeah. This desk is just like the ones we have in my school. I know it's weird, but I kind of miss it, being in school. I'm gonna say I miss teaching. I used to be a teacher, remember? Tell you what, when we find ourselves a safe place, set up a little classroom, just you and me. Will there be homework? No homework. Do you think things will ever be normal again? Just like the way they were before? I think so. It may take a while, but yeah, I do. Don't you? I hope so. That's good. You hold on to that hope. It's the one thing none of this can take away. Let's talk to this scary cat over here. Hey, you need any help with that? Thanks, I got it. Just once, I'd like to do something useful, you know? Well, go to option A. I'll let you get on with it. No, wait. There is something you can help me with. Something that's been on my mind. I could use your opinion. What is it? It's Kenny. Since I've been helping him work on the boat, I've gotten to know him a little better. He's a good guy, you know? And it's eating me up knowing what I know. I've been thinking about telling him the truth. Ben, come on. This again? It's my fault Duck and Katja got killed. If I hadn't screwed up back at the motor inn, they'd still be alive. How am I supposed to just carry something like that around? I have to tell him. I'm gonna say, Look, I don't have Lee, time for this. I really don't have time for this. You don't get it, Lee. What am I supposed to do whenever he talks about Katja and Duck? Just nod and pretend like it wasn't my fault. I can't do it anymore. There'll come a time when he's ready to hear it, but it's not now. 
Not yet. I hear you. I'm gonna get back to this. People report you because of the stuff you post, yeah. That is true. Then I just appeal it. Alrighty, let's go get us a battery. The alleyway to the auto shop's down here. You coming or not? Guess I'm coming. Probably dipped. Molly, you out here? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Almost twenty years. Guess I'm not going that way. Shop must be down this way. Oh, shit. It's like I got a dog following me. isn't an option let's throw your jacket on top I just gotta figure out what to do now. That'll work. Well, it's definitely quiet. Better not get too close. Hey! Oh. Leave him. He's mine. I'm gonna say, what are you doing? What were you doing up there? Well, damn. What? Well, I think you got him. I think you got him. One more. <sighs> He's wearing medical scrubs. Some kind of scientist or doctor, maybe? Yeah, well, he ain't shit now. <sighs> Did you find us a way in? Yeah, but the garage door's jammed. Can't raise it. That was just awkward. She must have knew Not him. Look what I found. Oh yeah, that'll work. Yeah. 
Uh oh. They're gonna push that Come motherfucker on. down. Oh, 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 oh. That was a close call. Take a look around. I'll make sure no stragglers get under this door. I can't reach it up there. No power. We can finally get some power going. Maybe the truck battery we can take. Well, I can see where the battery should be. But it's not. Perfect. Something you need? I'm gonna say about that walker in the alley. What's that about back there? He came at me up on that rooftop. Tried to take a bite out of me, so I took care of business. What, you got a problem with me killing geeks? No. It just seemed like you went to town on him a little more than you needed to. Yeah, she went hey, to town on you him. I never really know when those things are all the way dead. I was just making sure. Look, you want to get this battery or not? Time's wasting. I'm gonna say so, what Crawford. Do you think to Crawford. Don't know, don't care. As far as I'm concerned, these fuckers got what was coming to them. Not a lot of sympathy for all the people who died here, huh? I have about as much for them as they did for the sick and the old and anyone else they didn't think was fit to belong in their little paradise. So yeah, fuck them. Damn. So why did you decide to help us? I told you. I'm expecting a ride on that boat once that hillbilly friend of yours has got it running. You sure that's all of it? You want to keep interrogating me? Or do you want to get the damn battery and get out of here? Yeah, I'll get the battery. You do that. More of Crawford's rules. How did anybody live like this? I'd rather take my chances on the outside. Looks like it's the hose for the lift hydraulics. They pretty much got everything in here. Looks like Crawford had their own semi trucks. Is there anything else? It's the panel that controls the hydraulic lift over there. Okay, now I'm stuck. I don't know what to do. be an anti-theft system good chance of a working battery being mm -hmm. in that car if i can find a way to get up there okay let's find a way to get up there that's gonna make so much noise i can't reach it up there that one don't have a battery think I can pry that hose apart with just my hands. Maybe if I had something to cut it with. 
Well, her little axe thing. Something you need? Can I borrow your hook? Can borrow that uh, hook thing of yours? I don't know. Hilda and I have been through a lot together. Hilda? That's what I call her. Don't judge. Please, can I borrow Hilda? I'll take good care of her. She won't get a scratch. I got your promise now. Not a scratch. Mm -hmm. Nice Star Wars reference. I did it. There we go. Whoa, whoa. Uh oh. That's probably not good. No shit. I'll try to hold them off. Hurry. There's the battery. Finally, something goes right. It's off. The negative terminal still screwed on. The negative terminal still screwed on. Then unscrew it. Got that one off. Got it. Yeah, but we still got a problem here. Put it in here. I'll carry it. Okay, follow me. Move your ass. I'm moving my ass. Shoot it out. That just made more noise. That's a strong ass bitch. Okay, so now we're on the roof. Do you ever stop complaining? Come on. What are you, chicken? Jump! I'm gonna say, I don't know. Oh, that would have sucked if I would have missed. I'm saying, that's gonna be a super saying for her to pick that dude up. Come on. Later. Something I gotta do first. What? Catch you later. Wait, you've still got the battery. Yeah, I think I'll hold on to it. Make sure you don't leave without me. See you back in class. Molly! Damn it, what the hell is she doing? Oh, that just sucks. Little help! Little help here! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. There we go, that'll we work. Got. Break the door with something. Oh, there we go. Damn well better. There's so many. You got the fuel. Let's not start high fiving each other just yet. Let's get the hell back to the classroom. What's the hand with these fuel cans? They weigh a goddamn ton. That was a close call. You're back! Yeah, and we made out pretty good, too. Great work, Kenny. How you doing with that door? Not so good. Here, let me give you a hand. Did you get that battery yet? Yeah, Molly has it. She should be back here soon. She'd better be. Talk to him real quick. What do we still need? We already got the fuel and the battery. 
Once we find some medicine, we'll be good to go. So where's this battery you found? Molly has it. She ran off to do something. Well, she'd better bring it back here. I don't know why you trusted that girl with it. We hardly know her. She saved your life, didn't she? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but what has she done for me lately? Okay, gotta find some medicine, I guess. Bree? Hey, Lee. Thanks for all your help back there. I don't think we would have made it without you. No problem. We're all on the same team. About Crawford. What do you think about this whole Crawford situation? Oh, I gotta stretch. I'm not talk about it. Too many awful memories. Even being back here gives me a bad feeling. Even now, with everyone dead? I got no sympathy for what happened to these people. They weeded out the sick and the old. Even children. Those least able to defend themselves so that they could save their own skins. Whatever happened here, however Crawford fell, I consider it poetic justice. Damn. Damn. That's cold. It's how That's I what feel. I said. If you'd seen what I seen, you'd feel the same. So you're a cancer survivor. So you're a cancer survivor, like Vernon and the others. Yeah, I was diagnosed when I was in college. Been getting treatment ever since. Just when I was starting to get better, when I thought there might be some hope, all this happened. I lost my whole family. I'm the only one who survived. Funny how things work out, huh? I guess you could say she is inevitable. How long have you known Vernon? A couple of years. He ran our support group. He was really great helping me come to terms with my disease. But how do you come to terms with something <sighs> like this? With a place like Crawford? I don't know what I or, or the other survivors would have done without Vernon. He's the one who held us together, kept us alive. I'm a little busy here, Lee. Maybe you should go get that battery or help with the medicine. So according to Bree, Fuel is at the maintenance shed. Medicine might be at the nurse's office. And a battery would probably be at the auto shop out through here. We already got the battery and the fuel. Nurse's station. We're gonna find medicine anywhere. That would be the place to look. But where are we? Guess I'm just gonna be searching rooms. Definitely not going left. No, I'm not going that way. Already been fired. Worthless. That's an exit. Is there another door like over here? Nope. This is not good. Kristen Vernon must be trapped in there. Popped him. Gone. Reduce the atoms. What the hell happened? They wandered into the hallway after we got inside. I think they must have heard us rooting around in here. The whole place is infested. They're everywhere. Calm down. I took care of them. What about the meds? Did we find what we need? Yeah, that's our other problem. Take a look. Looks like they were keeping all the prescription meds in that safe. Locked up tight. Can we bust it There's open? No way we can bust it open? Maybe with enough time. But I don't know how much of that we have. It'd be a hell of a lot quicker if we just knew the four-digit combination. Well, I doubt they just wrote it down and left it here for us to find. We should just try busting it open. We don't have any other choice. 
Okay, you get started. I'll take a look around, see if I can find anything useful. What is this? A copy machine. Not that it matters with no power around here. Just a bunch of papers. No safe combination, though. Phones probably haven't worked in months. Okay, so we gotta find a safe combination. Anna Correa. Guess she must have been a patient here. And what's this? I think I found the code. Yeah. I've got things to do. Yeah, same here. There's dried blood on this printout. And on the floor. Looks like a trail of it from the safe to the camera over there. Then out the door. What the hell happened here? What's this on the floor? The sonogram. Y'all already checked these drawers? Yes, Lee. Nothing in there worth taking. Uh, already cleaned out. Vernon, Krista, come look at this. This is day 82 since the outbreak. 1547, Dr. Logan in consultation with patient Anna Correa. Why are you recording this? Regulations. Oberson has ordered me to keep records of all medical examinations and consultations. I need you to brace yourself, Anna. The sonogram confirms that you're pregnant. Oh, oh man. Oh, God. Oh, God. As you know, the rules are very clear. The termination is mandatory. You don't have to tell them. Tell them it was just nausea. But you gave me something for it and it went away. This is my problem, not yours. If Oberson finds out that I concealed evidence of a pregnancy, I'm sorry, but these are the rules. I'm going to give you a sedative. It'll make the procedure easier on you. I don't want the procedure. I want my baby. I can't do this. I can't do this. That's just sad. You don't have a choice. Now, if you like, you can take some time with this. But I need you to come back no later than tomorrow. Or I'll have no choice but to inform Oberson myself. I'm sorry. Damn it. We almost had it. What the hell kind of place was this? A fucked up place, obviously. Worst kind. Lee, maybe there's another tape. We gotta keep looking. I think I recognize that doctor. He was one of the walkers out in the alley by the auto shop. Maybe you should search it. See what he's got on him. Oh, I seriously gotta go back out there. Okay, the other shop was this way. Ah! 
Oh, shit. That was unexpected. Stomp his ass. This might be just what we need. And what's this? Looks like some kind of code. But Vernon said the safe combination was only four numbers. Shit, time to go. Yep, time to go indeed. Not going that way. I found another tape. This one's dated October 10th. That's the day after the first one we watched. Put it in. Have you made a decision? I thought you said I didn't have a choice. Well, technically you do. You can terminate the pregnancy or leave Crawford. Of course, that would be a death sentence for both you and your unborn child. Maybe that's best. I stayed up all last night thinking about this. Why are we even trying to survive? To keep on living, if this is what it takes. If this is what it's turned us into. I don't make the rules, Anna. Doctor, I'm begging you. Please, help me. Maybe one day, when things are different, you can try again. But for now, today, we have to do this. Oh, man. She prison shanked his ass. I think we know what happened to Crawford. More importantly, we got the combination. <laughs> Let's get that safe open. This isn't the time. We got a job to do. You're right. I'm sorry. Let's get those meds. We're in business. Antibiotics, morphine. We'll take as much of this as we can carry. Okay, I think we're good. This is more than enough for your people and mine. Let's go. You go on ahead. I want to make sure we didn't miss anything. I'll be right behind you. Don't take too long. I'm not exploring anymore. Let's get back to the classroom. Jesus Whoa! Christ. Oh, you scared the shit out of me. Where the fuck have you been? Sightseeing. I'll take that battery now. Oh! Yeah, uh, about that. I'm just kidding. Here you go. No, don't play like that. We need that battery. What's that? Nothing. Sure there's nothing you want to tell me? Yeah. I'm sure. Are we done? What the hell? I think that's our cue to get the hell out of here. Uh oh. Whoa! Jeez! 
shit! Sorry. Yeah, he's gonna get us killed. I just got spooked by those bells, and then I heard someone coming. Did you leave Clementine alone? No, Kenny's with her. We still can't open that armory door. He sent me out to look for something we can use to bust it open. I found this. Uh, Ben? Where did you get that? I just found it. It was stuck in the door handle at the end of the hallway back there. Oh, no. Oh, shit! This dude, Ben, has got to be the dumbest person on Earth. my kill what the fuck is going on they're coming oh shit that ought to hold them sir but now how do we get out through the armory we can just get this damn door open come on damn you this is my fault all my fault the hell's he babbling about man we talked about this no Wait, I want to know what he meant. What do you mean this is all your fault? Kenny, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, man. Kid, this ain't the best time. Whatever you I'm did, say fine, save tell it them. for later. Fine. Go ahead, tell them. It's been me all along, putting all of us in danger. Katja and Duck, it was all me. It was all me. Wait a minute. What are you saying? It was me who made the deal with the bandits at the Motor Inn, slipping them supplies. I thought maybe I could keep them off our backs. When it got discovered, that's when they attacked. And that's when Duck... Uh-oh. It was a mistake. Lay off, man! Ben didn't mean for any of this to happen! It was all just a mistake! I don't give a fuck! You little piss ant! You're fucking dead, you hear me? Dad! My wife and child! You got them both fucking killed! Nice group you got here. Not the time, Molly. If this asshole thinks he's getting on my boat after what he did, he's out of his motherfucking mind! You hear me, ben was just trying to help. You can stay behind and fucking rot! You know Ben didn't mean any harm. He was just trying to help. And I'm supposed to give a crap about his good intentions? The boat's not big enough for all of us. Somebody's got to get left behind. Might as well be this piece of shit right here. Well, I vote we leave him. I'm sorry, Ben. I know you mean well. But all I want to do is get back to Omid, and you put that at risk. Wait, don't I get a vote? Of course you do. Of course you do. I did say nice. I was going to kill Ben, it's but I'm actually going to try and save him. We don't leave friends behind. That's my vote. On second thought, I think I'm going to abstain. Lee? Ben stays with us. I've seen enough of Crawford to know that becoming like them is the beginning of the end. I vote Ben stays with us. What about the rest of us? Don't we get a second? Oh! Oh, damn! Damn right! Vernon, come on! So much for the armory. What's left of it? Yeah, she gone. Reduced to atoms. A few rounds. That's it. You didn't close that door behind us? I could. The lock was busted. Great. Just fucking great. Come on. There's got to be a way out down here. Close the door. Close the door. Close the door. Close the door. Ah! It's not going to hold. Back upstairs. <laughs> yeah, for real. Lee, look. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it is. Oh, 
Oh crap. Oh. Ah. Oh. Worst BJ ever. There we go. Bye bye. Take this. Spartan kick. And she couldn't stick. You think too. I don't discriminate yams as yams. Come on. It's all right, Clint. I'm fine. Any way out of here? This leads to the roof. We might be able to find a way down from there. You didn't come into town from the railroad, did you? Yeah. Why? Never mind. I can see the sewer where we came in from here. I think we can do this. Well, what are we waiting for? Go, go! Yeah, come on, let's go! He's gonna stay behind, ain't he? Come on, Ben. There's no time. You have to go now. Quit fucking around, Ben. Come on. Let go, damn it. Get Clem and the others out of here. Lee. Poor Ben. On second thought, no. Go, go, go. I should have let his ass go. Krista? Everything okay? Oh, me! I'm gonna say Chris to stay away from him. Krista, don't stay back. I never should have left you. I'm so sorry. Chris to get away from him. Uh, hey. Back already? Man's do play too much. Medicine. Good. Feel like I could use some. You okay, kid? You look worse than I do. We almost didn't make it out of there because of this asshole. Should have left him behind, but we had the chance. Guys, what the hell happened out there? Let someone else tell you. I got work to do. Okay, with a little luck, you should start feeling better pretty soon. I'll stay here for a few more hours to check on him. Let me know if you need anything. Thanks, Doc. Yes, thank you so much. Maybe now's a good time for you and me to have a little talk, in private. I'm sorry about Bree. About what happened to Bree. Please, save your sympathy for someone who's buying it. What? You don't think by now I got you figured? 
You don't strike me as someone who has a lot of consideration for others. Look at what you did to get me to come here with you in the first place. You expect me to believe you give a shit that it wound up costing Bree her life? Now just hold on a damn minute. Listen. No, you listen. You got some good people here and they look to you as their leader. Well, I'm here to tell you the kind of leader you are. They're not gonna make it much longer. And you're kidding yourself if you think putting them all on a boat is gonna solve anything. Now, you may not care about all of those people, but I know you care about that little girl. Which is why I'm gonna make you an offer. What kind of an offer? I'll take her off your hands, take her back with me, to my people. We're well supplied, well hidden, and a lot of us have had kids no. of our own. And now Crawford's fallen, we got nothing left to fear from them. She'll be safe with us. Safer than she will be if she stays with you. I'm gonna say walk away, Vernon. That's what you want for her, isn't it? To be safe? I'm gonna pretend you didn't say any of this and give you a chance to walk away. Which you ought to do right now. I know you think you're doing what's best for her. And if you were her real father, we wouldn't be having this conversation. Well, say that I'm from. Not. I'm originally from Florida, but I live in North Carolina now. That little girl's in my care. We've been through more together than you can imagine. Anyone who tries to get between me and her, anyone, is gonna wind up dead. You hear me? Take your hands off me. Hey, going somewhere? Yeah, I'm about to head out. I, I just wanted to say thanks for everything. It's been fun. You should come with us. Kenny's working on the boat right now. Thought you were coming with us. God knows you earned it. Yeah, I've been thinking it over. Yeah, that's pretty nice out here in North Carolina. Sounds like it'd be pretty crowded. And I live in the middle of the mountains. Water. You sure about this? I'm sure. I've always done better on my own, anyhow. Listen, I'm not much for goodbyes. Tell the others for me? Sure. You take care of yourself, Molly. You too, Lee. And you be sure to take care of that little girl. You know she thinks the world of you. Good luck. Ain't nothing to do with luck. <sighs> hey, sweet pea. Kenny's working on the boat. I know. What are we going to do after he fixes it? Where will we go? Someplace else. You live in Arizona in the Phoenix metro, metro area? Phoenix metro area? That's what's up. It doesn't seem the same since he got back. He's been through a lot. a lot. Clem. He's just gotten a little overwhelmed, that's all. I'm sure he'll be fine. Before we leave tomorrow, will we have time to look for my parents? I'll say no, let it go. I'm sorry. They're in Crawford somewhere. They have to be. Clementina, I know you don't want to give up on him. But Crawford's just like every other place now. If your parents are there, they won't be like you remember them. They won't remember you at all. <laughs> Reach out.
So who was that on the radio? Clementine? Uh oh, she left. Clementine? Oh, I had to stretch. Clementine? Clementine! Oh, God. I wonder what happened to her. Oh, man. 100, 110, that's a lot. Oh, shit. There we go. Yeah, man, I bet. You said 110 in May? Yeah. Clementine. She's not in her room. Vernon ain't in the house either. What the hell is going on? Whose blood is that? It's a walker's. Fucker jumped me from behind. So where's Clementine? Clementine's gone. I found her having her radio on the ground out here. That's all I found. There's no chance she just wandered off on her own? No. No way. Then who the hell took her? I don't know. Last night Vernon came to me and offered to take her with him. Said she'd be better off. Son of a bitch. I knew we couldn't trust him. I bet you Vernon has something to do with it. I have to find her. I'm gonna say you should know I'm bitten. Something you should all know. I'm... I'm bitten. Walker jumped me while I was out here looking for her. Oh my god. No way. No. No fucking way. I don't know how much time I've got. I'm gonna need your help to find her. Who's with me? We're all responsible for Clementine. And in your condition, you may not make it to her in time. She needs our help. All of our help. I might as well be truthful to the group. I can't let you do this alone. So that's settled then. We'll look for Clementine together. Hell yeah. What are we waiting for? Thanks, you guys. I appreciate it. always been there for me, Lee. Always had my back when it mattered. What kind of friend would I be if I wasn't there for you now? Bitten or not, I'm with you to the end. You can count on me. Yep. What about you, Ben? Now hold on a minute. You're not really thinking about bringing him with us, are you? Do you we'll say the way I see it, Ben's need all the help to make things right if he wants it. How about it, Ben? I don't know. Whatever you think is best. I'm gonna say Clementine stood up with you. Clementine's one of the few good things left in this world. She stood up for you and Crawford when Kenny wanted you gone. Don't you think you owe it to her to stand up for her now? You're right. I owe her. I want to do this for Clem, but I want to do it for Kenny, too. I gotta make it right with him. Somehow, I gotta make it Okay, guys, we should go find Vernon, see if he took her. Let's head out. What about the boat? We just gonna leave it unguarded? If someone was gonna take it, they'd have done it already. 
Besides, what choice do we have? Oh, I completed the episode. Where the hell are they? All right, man. Thanks for stopping by the stream. Looks like they got out of here. That's a it's a good movie. I saw it already. Vernon, get out here. There doesn't have to be any trouble here. All I want is the girl. Give her back and nobody needs to get hurt. All right, man, peace out. Who is this? It's not Vernon, if that's what you're thinking. And you should really watch your tone. Clementine's fine. But if I were you, I'd choose my next words very carefully. What do you want from me? What's next? Okay. Take a look at some of these. All right, that's the end of the episode. Let's watch some credits together. I'm actually gonna go get me something to drink. All right, that's the end of the credits.
Alrighty, this is Doug Trigger Trey here from the Good Old Kill NC Squad. I'm gonna go ahead and end the video now. Here on YouTube, this was originally a live Twitch broadcast, so please make sure you thumbs up, comment, subscribe, and uh, we'll be seeing you in the future on some more epic gaming adventures. Peace.